fellow mega fiends. Um, right now I'm just about to put some makeup on but I wanted to show you this bootcase. Now this is what's called an Argos baby bootcase but for a baby it's actually quite large. Probably more of a toddler. <laughs> um, I got this because the lovely Sarah of Adora Bubbles um, showed a little picture on her Facebook page of these bootcases that she's just got to um, store and organise her makeup and I loved it. I thought it was exactly perfect for what I wanted for my desk. So it's not overly deep. I'm going to stand back a bit so you can see better. And that is what it looks like. Now the idea for me is, is there was a lot of things on this side of the desk here coming out and then there was some clutter across the front and coming along this side and what I wanted to do was have everything so it's more towards the back because I also want to use um, this space to sit and do my writing I also like to chill out in this space before I have a bath I like to read and things I like to do my nails and I just wanted more of a desk surface to use so what I decided was this bootcase was a great idea for that because it would mean I could store everything on the bootcase that I have currently on my desk and then it frees up a lot more desk space which it has and now you can see this Marilyn thing that I did so much better which is amazing I still need to add one or two little pictures in I think um, but I love it so um, it's all kind of changed now so I've got my brushes along the side here and I've put them this way because I don't actually need to move them when I use them now I just kind of reach across and get out what I want and then I've got, I've still got this um, shelf storage from Ikea, which is the double thickness one, which is great. I still need to have something over here and I needed that to put these on top. Um, and underneath here I've got my beauty blenders, I just keep them in a glass. And then I've got my Villains makeup case that I got at the Disney shop, my first haul of 2013. And that's got all my Maybelline colour tattoos in. And then this ceramic dish, this is what I did have my Urban Decay palette in that you would have seen. And I've got in here all my face products that I use regularly. Not every day, I don't use all these, but I've got like my mirror, I've got BB, my two favourite BB creams. I've got pressed powder and loose powder. And then I've got um, three different foundations in here. Um, more pressed powder, some primers and concealers, my eyebrow kit. And um, my Hello Flawless from Benefit, I love that stuff, it's amazing. Um, yeah, so, and there's another primer and cotton buds that I use to tidy up any little errors in my makeup. So yeah, that's kind of like everything in there. So instead of going through the drawer and rooting through the drawer, I've just got everything at hand, which is like really useful. I just pull that out to do my makeup. And then they just all sit under there quite nicely. And then up on here, we've got my number seven makeup mirror. I absolutely love this. I got this not last year but the year before, um, it was £20 I think in boots it was reduced and it's great, it's magnified on one side and just plain on the other side and then I've got this light from Ikea which you would have seen in my, vid my vlog yesterday, I love this little light, it's great and then behind there, I'll move around that is my little swivel stand that I got from Tesco. It's a stationary stand, but I keep my MAC things in there. So I've got my mineralized charged water, makeup remover spray, strobe lotion, um, not, yeah, and sorry, makeup remover, eye makeup remover, pro remover. And then I've got like the brush cleaning spray, strobe cream, and then I've got one of the oils from the To The Beach collection, not To The Beach, I always say To The Beach, um, Hey Sailor. And then I've got my two sets of drawers. These are as normal. Um, nothing really much changed in here. Um, I've just got eyeliners, little eyeliners and a couple of eyeshadows in there. And then in here are my brow things and some Benefit Lust Dusters. And then I've got 10 by Benefit because it doesn't fit in the drawer above. There in there. These are my Benefit boxes of powder in here. And then I've got lip things in the top drawer, balms and little pots of gloss. Then up on the top I've got some stuff that I use quite regularly. This is all my MAC lip um, glosses and lip liners here. I've got my Urban Decay Set and Spray and I've got my um, sharpeners. I've got two MAC ones and an Urban Decay. My Time Cream which I put on every morning. Just a little tea light thing. <laughs> Um, I've got my Disney glosses that Alec got me for my birthday, my luster drops from MAC and my strobe cream from MAC. And yeah, so that's everything that I've got over there. Then I've got this plant pot holder. 
which I got from Ikea, which is great. It's just so pretty. And I put my dirty brushes in there. So I'm starting at the top on here. I've got this other shelf thing, which um, I've shown you these before. These are fabulous for storage. They're just metal and they've got like a cutout pattern. So I've got that up there because I actually use that for my other mirror and it's this one. This is the first light mirror I got. I really still quite like using that every now and then. It's a lot brighter than the number seven one. So I keep that and that I put that on top of that to do my makeup sometimes. I've got my two little things from Wilkinson's and these are just full of glosses of different brands and things. They're really nice. Then I've got that jewelry box which has the lovely design in it. It's just kind of standing up there just as a bit of a, a decoration really. And then this box has got MAC lipsticks in it. Um, there's a few in there that I'm considering selling so they're kind of separate and then I've got more darker colours and unusual colours and less used colours in here. Coming down onto the first shelf, um, behind there I've got two sort of makeup brush sprays. These are for spot cleaning. The Bare Minerals one, um, which hasn't got much left in, and the MAC one. And the MAC one is great. This is £8.50. It's probably the best one I've used. And I actually decant this bottle into the spray bottle because the spray bottle is much easier to use. I just find that this top, um, it's not great for use for that because you're dribbling it out under the paper. You use a lot less if you're just spraying it. So. Um, I got a little a little bottle from MAC, a travel bottle, and then I got a spray from MAC and then cut the bottom off to make it fit the bottle, so. So that's back there. I've got um, this from the Winter Collection of 2011. It's an iron blush palette. And then in here, these are just random liners that um, I have and there's some scissors in there. So there's lip liners and eyeliners that I haven't got rid of. I'm, I, To be honest, I mostly use 99% of the time Urban Decay, but I've got some felt liners, some eye cones, some different sort of lip liners in there from Sleek. So every now and then I do reach for that. So that's at the back though. And then this little makeup case here. This has got my casual colours from MAC in it. Um, I just kind of keep those in there. I know where they are that way and I can reach for them and it just kind of helps clear the draw out a little bit. And then I've got my Black Track Fluid Liner from MAC which I just leave out. Um, it's just easier for it to be on view. Um, so here is the letter rack. Nothing's changed here. I've got my um, Spring 13 Forecast Lip Palette and my my um, monochrome eyes palette that I made myself from MAC. Then I've got my two MAC eye palettes and my blush palette and then I've got a Diego Della Palma Snow White and the Huntsman palette at the back. And then coming along I've got these this one here, this little glass. These are just little Nutella glasses um, when they did used to put patterns on them. <clears throat> I've got a lot of Byram pencils in here, some Benefit pencils, some nail scissors and some Maybelline pencils. So these are just eye pencils, but they're like the chunkier ones, they're not eyeliners. Um, I've got my MAC. This is Truth and Light, which is the Magically Cool Liquid Powder, because I use that a lot, so I've just kind of left that up there. Then I've got some brushes here. These are just random brushes. I still reach for them every now and then. So some Cosmopolitan. Um, my number seven ones, which I glitzed up in a recent video. And I've got a pen, in, a couple of pens in there for when I do writing for my videos. And then here I have MAC shadows. So these ones are, I've got pressed pigments in there, I've got minimalized shadows, and I've got that little one, which is actually facing the wrong way. So, that little one from the Hey Sailor collection. Oh, well, that's them. And then underneath them, they are my electric cool shadows. I absolutely love these. I think they're really gorgeous. So I'm very into my cream shadows right now. So I just keep those out there. I just find that if I have them pushed away in a drawer, I sometimes forget about them. And if I store them like this and they're up there, I can just see them. And I just think that's a lot better. Then coming down to this shelf, this is the biggest one. I measured these out so that I knew I could get my pots of things on this one. And then the middle one I want to make a bit bigger. And then I measured the bottom one out to fit something else as well. So here I've got my Urban Decay palettes. So that's the first four books of shadows. Then that's five, the Vice palette. And then I've just got like my Nude Tood palette, my Disney Villains palette. Um, where's that one? Oh, that's my number 17 palette. My other number 17 Neutral Eyes palette. Tricks of the Shade from the Soap and Glory. These are two little metal dice that came out of a cracker in Christmas 2011. I just think they're quite decorative. And then I've got my Kabuki brush from Real Techniques there. Then the next shelf, oh, oh now I know, right, so that wasn't there, 
that was over there. I kind of felt that looked wrong. The only other thing that I've got up on this shelf is I've got this cup, which I got from um, Store 21. And it's just got in here um, my Revlon, what they're called, just bitten lip balms. And I've got my favourite glosses, um, lock and hold ones from collections. And then I've got a, a lip primer as well, so that just kind of sits up there. And I like how that shelf looks. And I know everything that I've got out on these shelves, so I know exactly where to reach. Oh, what I did forget to mention, I totally told you about the palettes on this shelf, but nothing else. These are my mirrored drawers. Um, these ones were from B&M, and they were 4 99 each. And these have got my MAC lipsticks in. Uh, yeah, these two are my reds, and then... Yes, and then these two are my purples. On top of there, I've got the three La Masca sort of highlighter powders. Um, they were kind of stuck in the back of the highlighter drawer, and I was kind of forgetting to use them. And I quite like the pots themselves, so I thought if I put them out, then I'm going to use them more. And then the bottom two mirrored drawers, because these are four separate drawer units. These ones were from Sainsbury's, and I got this in the sale. And again, these are MAC lipsticks in here. Um, I've got my Marilyn Monroe collection in the bottom two. It's a bit stiff this bottom one. There we go. And then I've got my other kind of lipsticks in there, Shane Supremes and things. Some special edition ones in there. And then these are some very unusual colours. And um, plus I've got my um yes, I can't remember what that's called. And then coming on the bottom shelf, these are things that I reach for quite a lot, so I've put them down here. Um I've got my MAC lip erase and my eye primer also MAC. And then I've got this little MAC brush holder. Um, it's a travel brush holder but in this one I've got my larger MAC brushes and these are all just special edition ones. I don't have any full size MAC brushes, they're very expensive. Um, but the small brush sets for around £35 you can get about six brushes and a makeup case. So, And they're no different to me than other brushes. I don't need them to have a longer handle. Um, so yes, those are my special edition brushes. Then I've got this, um, another one of the the Nutella jars. Um, these are just my mascaras. I've got a clip to put my hair back. Um, bottom lash mascara. And then in here I've got my Diego Della Palma double ended liner. Um, just to keep that there. And then this one has got some tweezers on the side. This is actually a drink and glass. Um, I think it was from Sainsbury's or Asda. And then it's got my NYX Jumbo Pencils in. It's got my Bad Gal Liner, which is great for tight lining, I've just realised. Some Urban Decay Cream Shadows and some MAC Shade Sticks. Um, and my Urban Decay Shadow Pencils as well. So these are my favourite shadow pencils and they're my, my most used ones, I would say. So they just kind of sit at that side. And then in the middle is my letter rack, which you've seen before. I got this at TK Maxx in the sale. I'm actually considering painting this, and I think I probably will. Um, so I'll have to get some paint for this. And then you've seen this before. This is just my Urban Decay palettes, or some of them, um, and my primer portion. So. And then over here, I've got the other half of the MAC brush holder. This has got these smaller MAC brushes in. I probably reach for these quite a lot actually. I use these in conjunction with Real Techniques and it's got my Urban Decay brushes in there as well which I absolutely love the Urban Decay brushes. Yeah, so I love these brushes. So they're there. Then back here I've got another Clinique um, brush spray and I think this is about £11. I do love my brush cleaning sprays. I clean my brushes, spot clean them every time I use them so I do go through a fair bit of spray. These are my Urban Decay liner pencils. They're just the eyeliner pencils and I've got one one lip liner which I keep in with these. Because this is white and I've got a white eyeliner from Urban Decay called Yeo, Yeah Yo, this is Ozone. I keep them separate so I don't get confused. But my Urban Decay eyeliners are there. And then back here, this is a bit of a mismatch of things. Um, quite a few brushes that I really like. I really love the Barry M eyeliner brush. It's fantastic for doing wings. And then I've just got my Daniel Sandler watercolour um, brush in there couple of other random little brushes, some Avon's, things that I still reach for, Revlon, and I've got a couple of these glass flowers, a collection of tweezers on here as well, and a pen. So those are my HD brow ones, they're really nice. And then back here I just got my Urban Decay brow kit. So, that's it. And I love how it looks, I think it looks really really neat. I know where absolutely everything is, 
And even though things are up there, it's no hardship to just stand up and reach for something. In fact, before I get started, I usually like to lay my makeup out on the surface anyway. These are the little egg cupboards I showed you, which have my Urban Decay palettes on in. They've kind of moved over here. Then I've just got some random little things, tins. I got that tin in the Sainsbury sale. And some ch um, glassware from charity shops. I got this beautiful picture of my mother-in-law for Christmas. I absolutely love it. And it says teasing underneath. That was one of Marilyn Monroe's last photo shoots. Then I've got another one of these IKEA shelves things. I think they're totally brilliant and they're so cheap. And just got some random little charity shop things on there and some skincare mini samples that I'm currently um, going to be trying. Then I've got my Kissing Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. I've got these tea lights that Alec got me at the charity shop. And then this is um, my MAC lipsticks. Those in there are my pinks. And then the bottom drawer was sticks because of that lipstick. My bottom drawer, these are my corals and peaches. Which, as you can see, I'm a huge fan of those. Um, yeah, and then I've got Cinderella. She's a musical Cinderella. And she plays music. And then I got these beautiful little um, plates from a charity shop. This one was um, £1.50, I think, and I think that was 75 pence. They're on different shelves, but they're definitely a matching set. They've got, like, angels on. I thought they were lovely. And then that's my Store 21 mirror. And when Tony was cleaning out her room, she found her first little pair of mittens that, as you know, the string goes through the court and stops them losing them. So I just hung those on there because I'm quite sentimental. Um, and then over here because I might as well do a full tour and I've done this. I had three pictures along this wall, but with this being here, they couldn't be there, but I've hung the middle one up there. Um, the other one is a matching pair. I actually got these off an artist at York Market, and I absolutely love that cut. And then over here, I've got my two big kabuki brushes, and then I've got these that I got from um, Sainsbury's, which I put my larger blusher brushes in. I've got a little mini bin that I just put like um, the wipes in when I clean my brushes. I just put them in there. And then I've got my Fashionista blush palettes there. This little set of drawers, which just has bits and pieces in really. I don't have a lot in there. And then I've got my two first palettes at the side. Then I've got another letter rack. These are um, my MUA palettes. And then I've got an Estee Lauder palette there um, my mum gave me and some bits and pieces. I've got my little Barbie um, little sort of trinket plate that I got in a charity shop. Very vintage. And then I've got this little thing that I got from a charity shop as well. And this has got a lot of little skincare items that I need to use up. So I've got some primers in here and I've got some little... Um, cream eyeshadows so I just put that there so it reminds me to use them up. Now the situation with the drawers has slightly changed and this one has changed slightly. I've got foundations that I'm not using a lot in this drawer currently. So I've got my Max Factor Face Finity, Revlon Superstay, Matte Morphose and then I've got my YSL in there. Um, my BB cream that's almost run out so I've just kind of put that in there. Concealer and then I've got some cotton um, pads in there and just some bits and pieces in the bottom, really bits and bobs. And then I've got this, which is the, they're like dry baby wipes. I use those when I'm putting my makeup on because I fold it over and I dab my brushes on there to clean them. And a couple of hair buns. And then that is my mirror. It's actually 15 times magnification and I use that to do my brows. Then I've changed things around in here. So in here I've got like lots of highlight and things. There's body highlighters as well as face highlighters in here now. And I've put in a loose powder and then my lipstick collections across the back. And then my MAC drawer has changed. I took out the um, quite a few things from here. Um, the primer, the lip erase, the liner and the face powder, all of the eyeshadows, the casual colours. So it's actually helped me get the things that were at the back and move forward. I've got some eyeshadows that I don't use very much in the back and then I've just got some MAC packaging over here and a couple of MAC shadows. Um, but it's difficult when you're at the desk and you want to pull it out and you've got things at the back. So now I've got nothing at the back I really use and I only need to pull it out so far. And I've just got like all my sort of powders here and blushes, my MSFs, my beauty powders, uh, more MSFs and then I've got some pigments back here so it's just a lot more, a lot neater, more accessible and I know where everything is now so I really like that. In here I've got my sleek palette so my eye palette and my blush by threes. I've got my contour palette at the front and the molten metal eyeshadow 
These are my individual blushes. I've got a pressed powder and a loose powder and two of the um, powder pots. And then in the front are my Urban Decay shadows, my individuals and my Illamasqua shadows because I wasn't using them because they were in the bottom drawer and I thought I need to move them somewhere so I can use them more and I have started using them so that's really good. In the back are a few sort of powders. Um, this one's got a broken case and these two are just about finished so I just kind of put them in there. And then I've got some um, BB creams that have just a little bit left in and I'm kind of just using those up as I go. And then I change things over in this drawer, so in here I have just my bronzers in this section here, I don't have many. And then blushes, which take up the rest of the drawer. Because I don't have a particular brand where I think, oh, I really need to use blushes. Whereas with eyeliner and eyeshadow, I'm very much an Urban Decay girl. With lipstick, I'm a matte girl. Um, other things, like blushes, I don't really mind. So I've got my Daniel Sandler's here at the front, my favourite number seven one. These are kind of all liquid and cream blushes in this box here. I use these little mini boxes to just put everything neater because if you were to put everything in it would all fall over but if things are in individual boxes it just holds them together better. So they're all creams and liquids and then my favourite number seven. And then these are um, some of my slightly higher end high street I would say and some of my less higher end um, I've got peacocks and a pixie there, but then these are my dainty doll. I've got some from the balm over on this side and two faced. And again, these are dainty doll and the balm. So I just kind of keep those together there. They're probably some of my most used. And then in the back, um, got some number 17s underneath there. Um, a fashionista one I'm probably thinking about getting rid of and an Estee Lauder. And then I've got some My Face Cosmetics, which no longer exists, but these are lovely blushes. And then just a selection of blushes. I've got Accessorize, Gosh and um, Smashbox are there. Um, these one are Revlon cream blushes. And then along the front, these are all cream brushes. Here, I keep them all together. So I've got Topshop, number seven, um, number seven, and... Yeah, and they're number seven, um... These are just all number seven brushes here. These are the powder formation and those two are cream. And then they're special edition ones from number seven. So it's a lot more organised. I don't like to have anything double layered up. I like everything at a single layer because then you can see what you've got and you're not having to root around among things. I had a big tidy under the desk so now I can actually get my feet under. So I've got a box full of packaging if I want to package parcels up and then I've got a tin full of things that I'm looking to sell or swap. And then I've got um, my little Hello Kitty case which has got my domestic violence information in. This is a basket, it's a magazine rack and it's got all my hair bands in. And then Tony got this for Christmas, we got her the Sweet Lemon set from Body Shop which she absolutely loves. And she gave me this box which I will use at some point for something because it's probably quite nice to use to make up your own sort of gift set in. My Ikea drawers, um, my sort of storage set from Ikea, I could not be without this. I absolutely love it. This has got all my samples in, I don't know if I've ever shown you. Um, but I've got some things, I've um, got my baby wipes and some hankies in here, very useful. Then I've got some full size products that I haven't used yet, so these are kind of just to use when I run out. So I've got my Batiste Red um, Dry Shampoo, which I absolutely love, and I've got this one, which is the Very Cherry. They're my two favourite ones, and I wouldn't purchase any other one from now on, I don't think. I've got my soap that my mum got me for Christmas in here. Um, I've got a Peaches and Clean full size. And then I've got the Rituals Cream in May Deo, um, which is the one that came free with a magazine. I fell in love with it, so I bought a full size when I was in York. I got this Satsuma Body Butter. Look at the size of it. This one is a 400ml, and I love this stuff. And then I've got in here um, another one of these decorative jewelry boxes. And then underneath here, this is how I organise my samples, so I'll show you. So in here I have all my beauty boxes, well not all of them but a lot of them and I write on the side with a sticker what is in this particular box. So this is number seven, Balance Me and Sanctuary and then you open that up and those are the samples in there. So I do that with everything. So you got, these are my number seven ones that I got. Basically I had three for twos, then I had a bunch of five pound vouchers last year. Um, so I used them up and I had money on my card. So I got some Pampa Dry Oil, some Foam and Cleanser, some Hot Cloth Cleanser and Cleansing Water and I keep those in there. Then I've got all my cards from Beauty Boxes that I keep in there for reference. And then again, this has just got a stack of boxes underneath um, that's got samples in. Um, 
Cordially and Rituals. Monu, Nails Yard, Steam Cream, Murad, all that kind of good stuff back here. Elemis and Nux is in there, as well as Anatomicals. Benefit, Clarence, Elizabeth Arden, Synths, Kinetica and Lancome. And then I've got Dead Sea and Spa Magic, I really love those. Got my Eve there. I've got my Vichy cream in there. So these are all samples that I've got in glossy boxes and I've got them in swaps and things. Um, but I am working my way through them. I actually had an absolutely massive amount of those Dead Sea Spa. Dead Spa Sea? Dead Sea Spa? <laughs> Dead Sea Spa things. I had a ton of them. And um, I've been using them up because I just absolutely love the Dead Sea Spa range. So that's everything in the bottom drawer. Over here, I've just got in here, I've got bits and pieces really. Um, I've got belts in here, this is all my belts. And I can't wait to get back into some of them. Some of them don't fit me right now, but I'm losing weight, so that's okay. Got my mini straighteners in here, I use my fringe, my fringe. My little card of Sue, which I'm gonna put in my little keepsake box. I've got my glossy eye things. I got a couple of Satsuma bubbles in here and I've got a big Johnson's um, cotton bud thing. I do use those and I just refill the other thing and then in here I've got some things that I tend to use quite a bit so um, in the front I've got a few things that I want to open as well and try but I've got my coconut milk for my hair bits and bobs I've got my dry oil pampering spray which I love my um, makeup remover wipes my Margaret dabs that was in my first ever glossy box I love this this is good spray and I've got my Rituals moisturisers and my Body Shop oils in there as well. And then in the back I've got my extra cleansing wipes. I've got a bunch of makeup bags in the bottom of here and then I've got some more boxes for samples in. So, that's everything over there. Then here, um, I didn't go through these drawers. These are my stock drawers. So this is the top one which is face, um, foundations, primers and powders. Mascaras, BB creams, highlighters and blushes are in this one. Then I've got um, my Urban Decay that I got because I think they're going to stop doing that. I've got lip glosses in here. Then I didn't show you these in my Urban Decay collection video but these are all my mini liners and my spare liners that I've got from Urban Decay. A lot of these are out of palettes that I've bought and a lot of them are from swaps that I've done with people. Then I've got an Urban Decay shadow um, sharpener there. I've got a Hello Kitty makeup mirror, some more glosses and these are basically lip products and some backups of some MAC lipsticks. This catches because it's difficult to do with one hand. Right, these are all my lashes. Um, lots of different ones again. Got quite a few in swaps, some out of boxes and a lot of them quite cheap so I just keep all of those lashes in one thing. I've got some plasters in here. I've got all of my hair clips and then in the bottom I've got a backup of the cocoa butter for my hands and the Bare Minerals Quick Change Spray. I've got some little pots there. And then I've got some mythic oils. I've got two plain, which I got in swaps. And then I got this one for coloured hair in a box. I've got a lot of little sachet samples that I reach into every now and then. And then I've just got some powder puffs. And then in the back, just some random bits and pieces. So that's everything there. And then the only other thing that I have storage wise, turn around, is this unit here. You've seen my little wicker basket, which has got my makeup bags in. It's got some beauty books in, different bits and things, pieces there. And then this is my other IKEA storage unit. Um, I've got like a little ceramic thing that I got from a charity shop and some um, polishes that I need to put in the drawers. Then I've just got a little ceramic thing again. That's from a charity shop and my Clarisonic on the back there. So I think you've seen everything now. So yeah, I really like this little room like this and I love how I've got it set out. So I thought I'd share that with you. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Thank you very much for watching as always. And I'm going to love you all and leave you and see you all soon. Bye.